Lately, we've been working on our axe throwing skills, and we've been using the stop as a target, and it's worked pretty well. And now we're gonna soup it up. We've got all these nice timbers that we milled up. They're actual four inches by 10 inches wide. Now we've got to figure out how to put them together. Come on over here to our redneck drafting table. I'll show you what's going on. It's gonna be the face of our target at the center here. We have some more rings coming out here. A couple of kill shots going on. These are our four by tens, so we're gonna end up being 50 inches wide-ish. We're gonna make the height the same, 50 inches. So we need to make a frame around this to hold it up off the, off the ground. So what we're gonna use is a, let's use a two by eight for the legs. On both sides. We're gonna use a four by eight underneath here and a four by eight on top as well. It should be pretty sturdy. We're gonna make it so we can remove this target face so if we need to we can replace some of the boards if they get worn. We also need to figure out some kind of feet to sturdy this up. A good way to attach all these boards together nice and snug since we've got plenty of thickness here, we've got four inches thick, 10 inches wide. What we're gonna do is use this all thread. We're gonna feed it through and then recess a uh, washer and a nut. So we just snug them all together. In order to make room for the all thread, we're gonna have to drill through the sides in a long ways. And that's a long way to go to drill a nice straight hole. So we are gonna use our mirror tool, our jig, it's gonna help us to guide our holes all the way through. The idea is that we will be able to start the hole and drill it straight and you'll be able to see when the drill is straight by looking into the reflection there and seeing, you know, if we're off, it's definitely gonna be obvious. So if we got kind of a steady hand and a good keen eye, we can drill it without much more than this mirror telling us what, if we're straight or not. You can check out the video where we built this guy. We cut the hole in it and, and uh, shaped it up for a tool for our drilling through these wide timbers. We built it when we built these uh, timber frame sawhorses that are working really well, just sturdy as can be. These guys are robust. And you can see our, our pins or our pegs that come through, they came through nice and straight. And that's because we were able to use this, uh, this jig or this mirror tool to keep our 
drill straight as we went all the way through these timbers. And we're gonna really put it to the test on these guys because we're gonna we gotta go 10 inches wide. And we're gonna drill all the way through. So we're gonna mark all the timbers out so that we can drill all the holes together. One after another, we've got them all turned up and clamped together so we can get nice and square. Where we mark our holes, we'll have one all thread running through the top and bottom of, of each target. And we're probably gonna go, what, six inches down from the top. So right now I'm gonna mark the top cut, just kinda where it looks like it'd be a good place to start, down below any of the cracks and things that might be in the wood. And we'll take the measurements from there and, and mark out where we're gonna drill. So I'm gonna drill through the timbers with this long three quarter inch auger bit. But on the ends, the boards that are on the end, I wanna be able to put a nut and a washer. So I'm gonna start those, the two outside ones, with a one inch Forstner bit, because the, the washers that I have are one inch. It'd be hard to go from this to this and keep it centered. So I'll just go in far enough to... Probably go in two inches with these. Okay, so we're gonna go till that's down in there. Two inches. Okay. Confetti. Oh, pretty good eye. In case you're wondering, yes, these are the original smartphone friendly gloves. Like a glove. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a little bit more fighting involved, but apparently the mirror trick does the job. It is nice to know that our sawhorses in the table here is robust enough to hold the both of us big old guys up. Can we speak too soon? Nope, right through. He has gloves on. These things hurt. The fleshy bits of your thumbs. <laughs> I think we got lucky. <laughs> I think sometimes even a blind squirrel finds a nut. So we've got to take these over, cut them down to length. This is 50 inches. Well, it's a little bit proud of 50 inches because we're not getting the gaps really super tight even when we push them hard. So we better leave room for 50 and a quarter inches. I want this to be shorter than 50 inches by probably an inch. So 49, maybe 49 and a quarter. Let's do 49 and a quarter on these. Well, we can do it like barely under 50 because yeah, we, we won't see it. If it's off one way or the other, I don't know how to control whether it's going to be tightening on which side. You know, this number. 
tried that at home. Let's go. Right hand clockwise, left hand counterclockwise. <laughs> Tricky with that look. Okay. Maybe we can put two nuts on the one side and that would hold it where it goes. And then we'll just when we tighten it, it'll make sure that it tightens onto the one we want to suck in. It makes it look so easy. Sometimes all it takes is a big jerk. 49 and three quarters, here we come. Now I guess we just got to play patty cake with this all thread to make sure we put them each in halfway. It's time to cut the ends off. We're going to use our beam saw here. Those should work nicely. We're gonna cut the frame, the outer frame for our ax throwing targets. These are gonna be the legs that go upright. We need four of them at 92 inches because we're making two targets. See how long we got. 92 inches twice. What's that? 184. Do we have 184? We got barely enough for two, so we won't be able to give up anything extra. are still roughs on just off the mill so I always check both sides and hopefully we're pretty close that works for me
turn this pile of wood into our souped up axe throwing target.